Hey guys, so let's talk about absolute value. Absolute values represent how far a number is from zero on a number line, regardless of the sign of the number. So if I were to ask you what 5, or the absolute value of 5 and negative 5 are, they would both give you 5, because they're 5 away from zero. So on the SAT and ACT, you might be asked to solve equations that include absolute values. So for instance, here we have the absolute value of x minus 7 is equal to 12. Solve for x. The way you'd go about doing this is by first removing the absolute values, or the absolute value symbols, which would get you x minus 7 is equal to 12. However, you'd also need to solve in case the number is negative. So to do that, you would just put a negative through whatever's inside the absolute values. And in this case, you would just put a negative through x and negative 7, which would give you negative x plus 7 equal to 12. Now you just solve for x. Here, we have to add 7 to both sides, which gets us 19. Here, we subtract 7 from both sides, and then remove the negative from the x, and we get x is equal to negative 5. So x in this case can be 19 or negative 5. The reason that's the case is, well, if you plug 19 in here, 19 minus 7 is 12. If you were to plug negative 5 in, we would get negative 5 minus 7 is negative 12, and the absolute value symbols get rid of the negative, and you're left with 12. So both of these answers work. So you may also be asked to solve for inequalities that include absolute values. The way to do that is similar to the way you'd solve an equation. First, remove the absolute value symbols. Next, we also have to solve for the inequality in case the answer is negative. So we need to throw a negative through the terms inside the absolute value symbols, which gets us negative x plus 7 is greater than 12. Now solve the inequalities. We need to add 7 to both sides here, and we get x is greater than 19. Here we need to subtract 7 from both sides, which gets us negative x is greater than 5. And if you recall from a previous video, we discussed how to solve for these inequalities when you're dividing or multiplying a negative on both sides. That means we need to flip the symbol in between, which means here we get x is less than negative 5. So the answers are x, x is greater than 19, or x is less than negative 5. And we can confirm that by just looking here. If we were to plug in a number greater than 19, 20, 20 minus 7 is 13, which is greater than 12. For this answer, we can look for a number that's less than negative 5, so negative 6. Negative 6 minus 7 gets us negative 13. The absolute values remove the negative, 13 is greater than 12. So some questions dealing with inequalities and absolute values may ask you to take the solution one step further by graphing it. The way to do that, first off we need to take what's given to us here, 12 is less than the absolute value of x minus 7, which is less than 21, solve for x. So first up, just remove the absolute value symbols. We also need to figure out the answer in case the absolute values are negative. So 12 is less than negative x plus 7. Remember, like in previous examples, we need to put a negative through what's there. So that's less than 21. Now solve for these inequalities. Here we need to add 7 to both sides. So we get 19 over here, and we get 28 over here. And over here, we need to subtract 7 from both sides. And then, since this is negative, we need to flip the signs and divide both sides by negative 1. And we get negative 5 is greater than x, which is greater than negative 14. So to graph these answers, draw a number line of 0 in the middle. We know 19 and 28 should go here. Now since these are less than or greater than symbols but and not less than or equal to or greater than or equal to symbols, 19 and 28 aren't a part of the solution so they need to be represented by open circles. Then we bold the number line in between. 
because that represents all the numbers in between 19 and 28 that work for this inequality up here. Now, we know that the other answer is in between negative 5 and negative 14. And again, those numbers aren't a part of the answer, so they need to be in open circles. And then we bold the number line in between. Now, if you want to check if these answers are correct, just choose a number in between these inequalities and plug them in here to see if they work. So let's say 20, x is equal to 20. 20 minus 17 is 13, which is in between 12 and 21. And over here, we have negative 5 and negative 14. So let's say negative 10. Negative 10 minus 7 is negative 17. Absolute values get rid of the negative, and we have 12 is less than 17 is less than 21. And that works. All right, so that's it for this video on absolute values. Here's some questions if you want to review some of the concepts we just went over. And like always, feel free to leave questions and comments below, and give the video a like if you found it helpful.